Hello and welcome to a new week of Sunday League to Legend. I'm Charlie, this is Football Manager 21, and today Leyland Albion are taking on Cleto Moore Celtic, managed by Lee Gregory, in the English North West Counties Division 1 North, and we are looking for promotion. There's no other way of going about it. A point, I think, means that we will have won the league title and with it earned promotion. Things have gone very well since last you were here. The last game we played was something of a free hit against Lower Breck, who are our rivals this season. They've beaten us now three times. But well, here we have a big game, Cleet or more. And it is for the league title. We've won four matches out of the subsequent four since. And as you can see, Connor Coma has 54 goals this season. A point, I think, will take it out of the hands of the Hulker Old Boys, who are our closest rivals. So I've actually got the league table up because that's pretty much all I've been concentrating on for the last four games. We've played four and won four, which has put us in this excellent position. So I'm just going to pause the game just at the start so you can have a look. Hulker Old Boys sitting on 75. This is the live league table. We are on 82. So that's a seven point swing. Current scores, the Hulker Old Boys, they are, I believe, at home today. They're not. They're away. They're at Pilkington, who aren't so hot themselves. They're pretty low down. So are Cleeter Moore, though. And this is the sort of thing that is going to give us a chance to win the league title and, with it, earn promotion. We'll keep the league table up there as the game progresses. We're obviously looking for a win, or if the Hulker All Boys lose, we're champions. That's how it's going to be. We are playing this exactly the same as we've played it all season long. No changes. There have been some player movement, let's say. Uh, Richard Pell, uh, central defender, six foot seven of him, has very helpfully retired. All of a sudden, 1st of June came and he announced his retirement as of immediate effect. As the Hulker Old Boys have taken the lead, so have Cleetor Moore. Unacceptable there. Ryan Dobson signed to replace Richard Pell. Oh, he's just not doing his job there, is he, at the near post? So, as it stands, we are not winning the title today. That will just give us a four point cushion with two to play, as the Hulkers are winning by three goals to nil. Play the game, lads. What's happening? Pilkington are just rolling over to Tom Dawson. Right, boys, we're going to demand more now. We need this. As it's right at the wrong end of the pitch for us, isn't it? Another corner and a clearance off the line this time. Unsworth with the ball back, but it's over the bar. Hulker now winning by four goals to nil. Chris Almond with the fourth as Ed A fires in the free kick. Kemp gets his hands to it. Bit of a worry here. Nope. We've got Murphy on the ball. Now old Diego out to Walker. Poor ball from him though. Forbes needs to recycle possession. Down to Murphy, is it? Sorry, it's Stanley who's there. But it's cleared by Cleetor Moore. Disallowed goal. Negative. Negative. Lawler offside. We're going to come over from McKinney here. Yeah, he's uh, well offside there. Well spotted, linesman. Well spotted indeed. So here we are, Ede again with the delivery. Oh, this time it's cleared again. Forbes is going to go out wide. It's Dobson. Not the player that we really want in that position. But Murphy might do a little bit for us, as it's the goal. Bubakar Balde, he has hit a purple patch of form in recent weeks. Criticised by the board and by the fans, in fact. I've had a couple of journos on the phone. Asking me about whether he's a flop. He is actually now 
got, I think he's got three in the last three. That's his 15th of the season. He'd scored, I think, 10 for his previous club before he arrived for us. Just stayed on side. Thought his leg was off, but that gives us a point, And that puts us back to five clear of the Hulker old boys. So it's a big day here at Sunday Elite to Legend. This will be a level 10 success. We'll get promotion and see where we go from there. As Coma on the ball. He's our star striker. Infield to Walker. And that was an absolute sitter for somebody. Barlow with the cross. As Pilkington have got a goal back. Well played then. Just a small matter of conceding four already. But beggars can't be choosers. Ede, real superstar for us. He's going. Oh, could have gone all the way there. But stopped by Kemp in the Cleetor Moore Celtic goal. You'll notice that left back. We are playing Murphy today. De Castro is injured. And there's the finish. Harry Walker, 23rd goal of the season. And that puts us in a commanding position just before half time. Ede, great cross in. Walker with the movement. Lost his marker, Lawler. Great header. Great finish. Look at this. No hint of an offside. Absolutely not. Joshua Ede with the assist. Really good pick up by myself in the summer to bring that young man into the club. Take some credit for that one. As the whistle goes for half time, thank the Lord. Uh, you will obviously uh, be aware that it is cold and wet here in Lancashire. Of course it is. This is what normally happens. I'm really pleased with how it's going. Yeah, feel like I've sold out a bit there for the green, but got to be done. If you can sense any nerves in my voice, it's because I really want to get this league done. I don't want to be back another year having to play lower breck every week because the, we'll just not do well. There have been some scares in recent weeks. We played St. Helens Town, only won by five goals to four. It was tough. We then had three games where the scoreline was 3-2 in our favour. Um, so we're still conceding goals. For anybody who's noticed that, I don't think we've kept another clean sheet yet. And that's not been helped with the defensive upheaval. Pell was playing really well for us. Uh, really pleased with his uh, performances. But unfortunately, no longer. As old Diego, back in the side today, has put us 3-1 ahead. Albion are going to win the title. The North West Counties Division 1 North. I'll get there in the end. We are going to be champions. Thank the Lord for that. Today, it was one of those I was going to carry on playing the last three games until we got the decisive point that we needed. Uh, there has been other retirements planned. So the likes of Dave Stanley, he said that he's going to retire, as is Andy Barlow in midfield. Uh, so that will require a bit of uh, work in the old transfer market. We'll have to bring some players in that uh, recommend them to uh, recommend themselves to us even i have signed a new contract though a new one-year deal has been agreed uh, our chairman jane wilcock bought over from atherton she has offered me uh, 325 pounds a week uh, which is no short uh, you know nothing to turn your nose up at no shortage of a wage packet there as ed a is about to pick up a book in here isn't he Cleto Moore Celtic with the corner. It's 3 2. It's 3. It is 3 2. I was right. Always expect the opposition to score. Conrad Kuras with his third goal of the season. Santos, uh, the assist. Good play. I really just want to get this in the bag so that I can start thinking about players for next year, really. As Coma goes through and fires in, looping the ball. Over the goalkeeper. It's 4-2. It's his 50th league goal for us. It's his 55th of the season. What a player. I mean, Unsworth doesn't read the ball at all. And it's just a nice little chip over. Oh, they call him fishy because he loves the chips. Wrong franchise. And that puts us 
back two goals ahead. We are going up. Get the party started. We are going up. Except, of course, Cleet or Moore are going to come back within a goal. Come on, people. Re read the script. Ricardo Santos. Great goal, really. Actually, can't, uh, can't turn your nose up at that sort of play. Look at that. He's just not closed down. Fires home. Conta in goal. Probably should do better. Whether he'll be here next season. That's something to consider. I wonder how many goals we have conceded this year. I mean, we've obviously scored quite a lot. But have we managed to actually keep him out at all as Ed A plays the ball in? Oh, it's another one off the woodwork, isn't it? Or save this time, sorry, my apologies, to the goalkeeper. 4-3, and we are hanging on. Tucker with the ball for Cleto Moore. Now Unsworth inside. They're building an attack here, boys. Barlow out there, but it's into Costa Costa's grip. Big ball downfield. Big ball downfield, but it's cut out. Now we've got Walker on the ball, one of our prominent players this season. He's going to cross in, and it's an effort by Balde, but wide. So we're now just going to slow things down as we reach 80 minutes. We're going to go a little bit cautious. We're also going to uh, make a substitution. We're actually going to make three substitutions not at the same time. So Barlow is coming off. Let's bring on Wood. Is he on this list? There he is. James Wood, defensive midfielder and central midfielder. So it gives us a bit of solidity there. We'll let him get on the pitch. As Walker has an effort, a couple of minutes are going to pass. And then we're going to bring off another player. That was a suggestion to bring off old Diego. Now he's not been in the start in the lineup recently. As Coma goes through, oh, it's cleared by the goalkeeper. Is he going to come back? It is. Is that a goal? He's offside. He is onside thanks to Dobson. Big ball over the top. Yeah, let's make that change then. Let's bring off old Diego for Coulter. Look at Dobson with the effort over. Coma with the movement. And it's past the goalkeeper. 56th the goal of the season. What a player. It's 5-3. We've got our two-goal lead back. Let's just chill out, everybody. Balde offside. And as we reach the 88th minute, I think we're going to make another change. We'll make it out wide this time, I think. Joshua Ede, he's on a booking. So it's only right that he comes off for Stevenson Gallagher. Let's uh, chew up a few more seconds. Forbes with the run forward. Into the corner flag, lads. Coma, oh, good header. Kemp matches it this time. It's a big ball downfield. Santos. Forbes. Clear. There we go. Murphy runs it out of play. There's five minutes added time here. Five minutes. Cleet or more have a goal kick. We're counting down. It's three to go. I'm just hoping for no more highlights. We don't need to see another highlight. Oh, this is at the right end though. Wood. Knock it back in, son. There you go. Coma disallowed. Oh, he thought he had his hat-trick. Yeah, he's going to be shown as well off here, I would have thought. No, not by much, to be fair. Good finish, though. I mean, he's a type of player you can build a team around. We've got less than a minute to go before Leyland Albion are crowned champions. Balde forward. Coma oh, straight into the goalkeeper's hands. Forbes doing a really good job controlling the ball at the back we've got 10 seconds to go with stevenson gallagher the posh lad with the double barrel surname ball through now it's going to come straight back referee blow your whistle and it is all over we've done it people here we are the new graphics the northwest counties division one north champions 
are Leyland Albion. We've done it. Breathe, everybody. We may now breathe, and we may now lift the trophy. There it is. Fireworks that we probably can't really afford. Away from home, not the way you want to do it, but there we have it. Cleetor Moore, Celtic, beaten five goals to three. Very much par for the course. Old Charlie boy there with the blue jacket right in the middle of the thick of things. Congratulating the players. And we have done it. We are champions. Well done, lads. Connor Coma. Star turn from him. Let's do outstretched arms. Congratulations, boys. There we have it. So, as I said, things have been happening uh, in the world of Sunday League to Legend. De Castro's groin injury uh, in the last game we played was a bit more serious than first thought. He's actually going to be out, I think, for about three weeks. But they came through, new contract, signed up for another year. I did push for two, but not a chance. Not going to happen, probably at this level. And as I did say in the commentary there, Balde has really hit a bit of a purple patch of form. So really glad to see him getting on the score sheet in the last few games. Played really well. But yeah, retirements are going to hurt us. Richard Pell, just out of nowhere, decided suddenly. Uh, that was it for him. Six foot seven, off he popped. So that has left Andy Barlow and Dave Stanley as our impending retirements. We will have to do some work to replace those boys. The player that I really want is Connor Finlayson over AFC Blackpool. Um, he's one of the top scorers in the division. I didn't realise this, but I was looking into it um, the other day because we played AFC Blackpool. He was playing central midfield and he's like the second top scorer in the division. I don't know quite how he's done that. Um, didn't score against us, I have to say. So that was a, a bit of a positive point in our favour. Uh, we actually played quite well to uh, restrict him to just long range efforts that weren't really getting anywhere. But I am pleased to have got that in the bag. There's going to be a slightly new schedule for Sunday League to Legend over the next probably few months because I've started with A League FC. I've started recording the Mariners Massive. You'll see a bit of an advert for that um, afterwards. So we are just going to reduce Sunday League to Legend to twice a week. Uh, looking at uh, obviously Tuesday and Friday, I think. I say uh, the Hulker All Boys actually won by five goals to three themselves. There you have it. Because uh, the A League will be released uh, on Thursday, and then we do the rundown on Sunday. So just looking at other days uh, that probably work for us. Midweek is probably best because that just gives everybody weekend to chill out and me for the chance to actually play the game as uh, we all want to there you have it Leyland Albion 2020-21 champions of the Northwest Counties Division 1 North key player of course Connor Coma with so many goals 51 league goals he got and the pivotal match is actually the very first game that we played which was against Garstank, which was on YouTube. Uh, we turned up and we won 5-0. Still not sure how that happened, uh, nor am I sure how we've spent the entire season scoring 8-2, 6-2, 7-3, 6-3. I'm not, uh, not quite sure how we've managed to do so well as we clinch the league title. And you all saw the lovely graphic. You all got a picture of that. Pause it. Go back, watch it. Look at the lads raising the uh, trophy in the air. Despite, after, after, we have to say, we went behind. You may have forgotten about that in all the uh, excitement. Conrad Curas uh, actually opened the scoring for Cleetor Moore. But uh, we managed to come through unscathed. And there will be the uh, league table for today. We've got two more games to play. Um, I think I will play the last game that we have in this league on YouTube because I think that's quite a nice thing to do before we say goodbye. So that means there's just one game um, and then that. And then we'll have our final points total 
and we'll be able to look at the rest of the league. I don't imagine it'll be much different. There's a lot of competition there for third place. Lower Breck are conquerors. They've beaten us three times this season. Nelson and Berry AFC. So I know there are a lot of Berry AFC fans out there that have been um, touched by everything that's happened with the uh, existing, uh, the old club that have uh, really supported the new uh, Phoenix side over there. And of course, we've got the likes of local to me, certainly the likes of AFC Blackpool and Garstang who are in this division. Um, AFC Liverpool are another big team here. AFC Darwin were predicted to do really well this year. Um, the likes of St Helens Town and Ashton Town in the top 10. Golka have really defied expectations to do so well up there. So we're going to leave it there for today. I'm not going to do anything else. We're going to go quietly away and we're going to celebrate. So yes, as I was saying, the format is going to change. We're going to go from the three episodes just to two a week. And then, of course, we've got the two A-League ones as well. So things do sort of balance out a little bit. But thank you for watching. I hope um, you've enjoyed this so far. I certainly have. Especially because we've just won the league. And uh, next will be level nine, which will present a whole new challenge. And if you think that I won't be pilfering some of these players from League 10, uh, level 10, then you've got another thing coming. The likes of Tom Dawson and Almond at the Holker Old Boys, I think are two players who uh, we certainly should be looking at because they've uh, done really well uh, this year. If it hadn't been for us, of course, the Holker Old Boys would be looking at promotion. You know, they've got a nine point advantage over lower breadth themselves. So thank you for joining me for today. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you later on in the week.